All right, hey there, and welcome to another episode where we're going to talk about stress today. And so, you know, a lot of us have this, you know, uh, these conceptions about stress, right? You know, it's like we, we say it all the time, I'm very stressed out. Um, you know, I have so much stress in my life, this causes me so much stress. And so let's talk about that um, for a little bit, because I just want to really go into the broader concept of stress as a whole, because it manifests itself in so many different ways for us, right? So when it comes to stress, um, you know, really, I want to talk about the three types of stress that we can experience, right? Um, and this is from um, Dr. Robert Sapolsky's um, book on why zebras don't get ulcers. And, and he talks about the three types of stress. Um, excellent book um, for those of you that are interested in exploring more about the stress response um, and, and all that. So, so let's first go into the question, well, what is stress? Stress is our body's reaction to a stressor, right? So a stressor is generally speaking some kind of threat, right? Now, um, and this is where it comes back down to the different types of stress we can experience. So a stressor is something that causes the stress response. Now the stress response in our body is that fight or flight or freeze mode, right? And really it's our body trying to neutralize uh, a threat, right? Or a perceived threat. And, and what it does is it goes into the fight or flight mode. And what the fight or flight mode is designed to do is to get us back into homeostasis, right? I'm sure most of you heard that word back in ninth grade biology, where it's like that equilibrium, right? So the stress response is designed to get us back into that state. And a stressor is anything that puts us into that stress response, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. And, um, and then now what I wanna talk about is these three types of stress. Right, so the first is a present danger, right, or an, an acute stress, right, uh, an acute physical threat is what I believe he calls it in the book. And so, and what does that mean? It means a physical threat that's happening right now, okay? And so when we, when we think about that, right, it could be as easy as a, uh, you know, a lion, you know, coming, you know, charging us, right? Like that's an acute physical threat that's happening right now, right? versus um you know someone in in modern times like a car coming at you right uh, someone you know pointing a gun at you right you know someone um it, you know someone yelling at you and and telling you they're going to hurt you right those things are happening right now right and that's why it's an it's an acute physical danger right so that's going to activate our stress response because our body's going to be like oh we're in danger we need to protect ourselves you know let's let's go and we'll talk more um in the future about things that happen in the stress like during in the body in the stress response but um i just kind of want to cover a high level approach in this particular episode so we have the acute physical danger and then we have um like a chronic physical um challenge right so to speak that's another type of stress and so if you were let's say stranded on an island right like that's a stressor right like that's gonna that's gonna put your body into the stress response your body's gonna need to go into that survival mode and so um and this can be things like chronic pain right you know um if you were like not eating or starving or um you know you know not drinking water right not getting your basic needs met that's gonna create a stress response in your body and so that's the second type and the third type is psychological stress and social stress. Now, these are the events that happen that aren't necessarily physical dangers that are happening right now, but it's more our mind's ability to create scenarios or, you know, interpret scenarios and, um, and kind of figure out how they might be dangerous to us, right? Now, this makes sense from like an evolutionary perspective in the mind because the mind is you know trying to help us right so if it can come up with possible threats right and then we can avoid those well that's that's going to help us right especially back in the day right it's like if we were roaming the plains and the mind comes up with well what if there's a lion behind that rock and we avoid the rock right and we live well that's reinforcing the idea that our mind's helping us and and back when there was a lot of physical threats around us that that served a really good purpose now what's happening is that the mind can come up with an endless amounts of threats, right? You know, um, and especially with things like social media and all that, it's like it, it can just compound, right? And um, so with social and psychological stress, that's the third type of stress. And that's really where we're going to be spending most of our time 
talking about um, because this is the stress that most of us are facing day in day out. You know, for those of you that you know that that live in um, kind of more first world countries, right? You know, we're not facing these chronic dangers of like war and and um, and there are places in the world like that right place where war and famine exist that's a different type of stress and in more um, you know like the United States right and first world um, countries the, the stressors are different right and they they tend to be more psychological and social that people experience and I'm not saying that people don't experience the other ones here of course they do but when we talk about a lot of the the chronic stress that's going on, it's a lot of it's just what's happening in our mind, um, and and that's and that's what's you know ironic about it is we're actually creating our own stress and then reacting to it and then staying in that state over a long long period of time, right? And again, chronic stress um, you know does so many things to the body that we're going to cover in this series on um, you know just understanding stress. And so and in, in, in future episodes, I'm going to talk about, you know, specific things that happen with the stress response. So um, the whole point of this episode is really to kind of cover those three um, main or those three main types of stress and really understanding what stress is. So, um, you know, I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, please, um, you know, support this by liking and subscribing as well as, um, you know, we have some resources down in the notes below. And again, a, a great resource to really dive deep into this is um, the book Why Zebras Don't Get Ulcers um, because um, Dr. Sapolsky, who, who wrote it, you know, just breaks down everything that you could ever want to know, essentially. Um, and so... Um, but yeah, so to start this series off, I just wanted to talk about the three main types of stress, which again are the acute dangers that are happening right now, meaning like the physical dangers, the long-term challenges, right, or um, like survival challenges, and then also the psychological and social stress. And as we move forward, we're going to talk about different types of psychological stress, and we're also going to um, dive into what's going on in the body when we're in the stress response and why it's important for us to have those tools to really make sure that we can, once that stress response is activated, you know, getting ourselves out of it, right? And giving our bodies that time to, you know, reacclimate and um, ultimately reach homeostasis. So thank you so much for uh, taking the time to hang out with us today. And I look forward to, you know, continuing on this series um, with you guys. And I will see you guys next week. All right, take care. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you found it helpful, chances are someone else will too, and we'd really appreciate your support by liking and subscribing and also sharing this video on your social platforms. Also, if you're looking for additional help, we have some resources right down in the links below to help you on your journey. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you soon.